Hi, this is <coughs> Edmund from Sports Trading AI. So today is the 19th of February 2020. Let's take a look at a matchup between Tottenham Hotspur versus uh, RB uh, Red Bull uh, Leipzig. So basically, this match was a banker bet opportunity, but then we lost the bet. Okay, let's let's take a look at how we actually lost it. Okay, so basically opening odds was hardball, uh, 1.90 odds in favor of the home team, and then the odds movement went up to 2.12 cents, and then subsequently uh, went to quarter ball, 1.85, uh, increased to 2.17 odds, and then went to level ball, 1.93 odds, and then uh, it went all the way to 2.03. Right, so basically opening odds in favor of the home team, odds movement plus 65 cents, water money in favor of the home team, formula was super, uh, was strong home win, 99. Uh, goal scoring average, you can see that Tottenham Hotspur has got this um, two goal advantage over RB Leipzig, huh? okay. So basically four out of four banker bet statistics were in favor of the home team, okay. Uh, I felt that this was a pretty stupid mistake. Uh. Okay, so I explained to you why. Okay, so basically when I when I look at the market consensus, right, uh, Tottenham Hotspur was sixty four percent and RB Leipzig was thirty six. Okay, but what happened is the odds movement was showing that there were a lot of people betting RB Leipzig, right, and then like you know it seems too good to be true when you know you can uh, i mean tottenham hotspur has got this great scoring form and then the away team with 0 0.33 giving offering you know like uh because after which it was uh, 2.05 so uh in certain place they were even i mean you can actually accept the plus 0 0.25 handicap at 1.75 odds huh? And then you see, first half it was zero zero, and then subsequently from uh, at from two point eight oh five odds uh, just before kickoff, uh, it actually strengthened to a quarter ball uh, handicap, right? Meaning this uh, the odds were actually strengthening, right? If not, they would just uh, maintain a level ball at uh, one point eight zero for RB Leipzig or either that or either like uh, Tottenham offering like uh, strong odds for level ball but it actually went to uh, quarter ball right and then when the odds movement is showing um, showing like it's showing you that uh, the market is actually taking away in this scenario what what uh, this scenario is um, it's actually the, the bookmakers are actually faking the odds uh, you know bookmakers don't really fake odds uh, regularly la, but once in a while they they actually fake the odds uh, right because if let's say the market consensus was 64 percent right there was no reason that um the odds would have uh changed from hard ball to level ball right it would have become like uh from hard ball to maybe three quarter to one ball if it's based on the market consensus but then the odds were actually dropping level ball of course like you know level ball is like uh, too good to be true like you know so you know sometimes like uh, there, there's this form of entrapment uh, but uh, i was a bit stubborn right to kind of you know stick to the the bet we could have avoided this uh, but you know uh too good to actually miss this bet because this was a banker bet opportunity yeah Right, uh, that's how we lost a b lots of bet, but um, consistently our banker bet win rate is above uh, seventy five to eighty percent. So you know that's one of the losses, yeah, around the corner. Okay, thank you. Bye bye.